They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and today I'm back with a piece that was sent to me over the Discord server from Think Hard and Be Kind. And this here is Jonathan Lee Max Car Wash Companion, Bob Mortimer's Broom Buddy, Debbie McGee's Magic Mate. I don't know. Uh, this is from Wilty, I believe. Would I lie to you? I'm pretty sure that's what this is from. And uh, it's a little quick compilation, I think. About 12 minutes long, so uh, let's sit back, let's laugh, enjoy some comedy together, shall we? I think we shall. Here we go. Let's get down in the corner. Let's get to this. I will uh, get the volume up here and we'll kick this on. Let's do it. It's well, time to laugh. this week's special guest, Jonathan. <laughs> This is the guy that's got the show over on the David channel, which I thought was I thought was David Mitchell's channel, but I found out from many people that it wasn't. I thought it was. I don't know how I got confused by that. But either way, this is the guy, right? He does like the show where he brings on different people. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, over on not David Mitchell's. <laughs> oh, wow, I thought that. I have no idea. So, Debbie, what is Jonathan to you? Well, this is Jonathan, and when he was a baby, I used to pull him out of a top hat. <laughs> Bob, how do you know Jonathan? This is my friend Jonathan, and I have brewed three award-winning beers with him. Right. <laughs> and finally, Lee, what's your relationship with Jonathan? This is Jonathan. One Sunday, the two of us spent three hours trapped in an automatic car wash. <laughs> David's team, where will you begin? Mm. Well, Debbie, wow. um, so you used to pull Jonathan out of a top hat. Yeah. He and so, how old was he then? About six months Six old. months. Was and he a rabbit oh. at that stage? <laughs> 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 He's going up into a lovely bunny. What a cougar comment that was. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's going for it, though. Look, he's yeah. aflame with desire. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the right hairstyle to be pulled out of a topper. <laughs> so, uh, where did this happen? This was in a summer season where? in Bournemouth. Debbie, how big was the top hat then? It was just... It was a prop top hat, so it was a bit bigger than a normal one. But, you know, babies aren't very big. It was only about this Six big. Six months, not very big. Yeah. And so, and he was in. Was he the son of someone else in the summer season, or no, one of the Chuckle Brothers' offspring? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a, a feature in the show, and um, we had different babies on different nights. You know, they were like in rotation, and they came from an agency. So, who would bring Jonathan to the theatre? His... All right. So I'm just gonna. I'm just going to say, like, I'm going to try to figure out... I'm going to give you my guess at the end of who's who, who I think is telling the truth. So far, she's pretty convincing. <laughs> mother. His mother. Yeah. And what would happen to him... I mean, I don't want you to give away the magic trick <laughs> too much, but where was he stowed <laughs> <laughs> to the moment where he's pulled out of the top hat? I can't tell you because... I'm a member of the magic circle and I can't give That is a really away. handy thing for this yeah. game. I like it. <laughs> Can you come on every week? Well, don't give any Over here they have the International Brotherhood of Magicians, I think it's called. That's pretty cool. Anything away, Debbie, but mm. talk us through the trick. There was um, a pretend rabbit mm -hmm. and then Paul would lift this big top hat from underneath and tipped it forward. <laughs> and that's when I would come over as the assistant and take Jonathan out and say, and here's the rabbits turned into a real live baby. And the audience and went, like boo, this. we hate babies. <laughs> <laughs> How long did they have to wait to be revealed? Not very long. It wasn't so they, a very long trip. So they were only briefly on stage before the They were only briefly in terrifying moment. darkness alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a little while. They are in a cot when they go to sleep yes. at night. And though. indeed in a womb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is the ultimate trick, isn't it? <laughs> now, who would you like to question right. next? Yeah. Um, Bob, uh, remind us what it was that you've, you've said. How do you know Jonathan? Because I have brewed three award-winning beers with Jonathan. What, what are the names of your award-winning beers? Jonathan does a great job keeping a straight face. You can tell he's really working on it, but he's doing a good job. He is. <laughs> the, the, the one that's my favourite is called Kiss the Alderman. <laughs> That's an IPA. Kiss the old one, an IPA, an yes. IPA. Another one was a stout, and it was called Retail Park. 
<laughs> retail. <laughs> yeah. And the other one was a lager, and that was called... Not now, madam. <laughs> Not now, madam. It seems funny now. That's why we used it. Not now, madam. Lager. Kiss the alderman. <laughs> Retail. <laughs> can, can I just say, now, he's madam. written these down, so I hope you can remember them. Yeah. <laughs> How long did you two work together for? Um, about two years ago. I was in a field, Dion, um, <laughs> collecting some mud to go and bury at home in my garden. <laughs> and along came Jonathan. <laughs> Or J Keg, as I call it. J Keg! And he said, I recognise you off the telly, you're that Ray Mears, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got chatting, and he said, Do you like beer? I said, I, I really I like beer. He said, Would you like to brew some beer? <laughs> and quick. I said, Yes, I would, rather urgently, actually. <laughs> Me and my buddy Jake Egg making some beers, you know. I've run out! <laughs> and he's, he's got a brewery, JPEG. Yeah. Just in a, just, it's a, um, a lean to next to a barn, right. Uh, right next to the field where I was. It's quite big actually, Lee. It might be a lean three. You know, a lean three. <laughs> 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 so I'm good. in this marvellous little brewery that I'm imagining. And <laughs> And we, we mashed. Well, part of the process is mashing. Right. You put a load of water in the, in the yeah. cylinder, <laughs> and, and you have works. to stir the malt, the malt barley. Yeah. And I did that <clears throat> bit of it. Oh, well, I that, and I thought, I, I adore this. Is there any way that I could see this process through? Mm. And we could call this beer, kiss the alderman. <laughs> what is the alderman? He's an unelected council official. Mm. Say, for example, let's focus in on Bolton. Yeah. So if, <laughs> if Bolton had a large Chinese community, but no, there was no representatives, councillors, mm -hmm. they would say, would you like to informally uh, nominate one of your Chinese community and they will become an alderman and they mm. will sit on the council and be able to represent Right. No, that makes sense. So, yeah. we, we've definitely covered the what happens to the Chinese community in Bolton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put that part down. To the beer story. Yeah, so, uh, uh, that was Kiss the Alderman. Mm. So, we brewed a thousand litres, bottled it, and it was the top beer in um, the Kent Craft Ale Society. Uh, can I ask, um, yeah. my husband is a brewer, um, what hops did you use? Citrus hops. One of them's called something, and the other one, likewise, is named as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this all checks out. <laughs> you know what, the thing that is the, the yeah. hipster brewing beard... If you were to say to me, draw a brewer... Pretty much. That's what I'd draw. That's what you draw now. It's very interesting, actually. <laughs> See, the other is one of these craft cocktail bartenders. One or two. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that fun? Whereas if someone asked you to draw a brewer 30 years ago, you'd draw someone very different, wouldn't you? I'd draw you. You'd draw, you'd draw, you'd draw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about Lee? Lee, remind us of your claim. This is Jonathan. One Sunday, the two of us got trapped for three hours in an automatic car wash. Where was it? Where was the car wash? It was just outside the car. <laughs> <laughs> Near where I live in southwest uh, London. Whose car was it? Who's, who's driving? It, it was my car. And was Jonathan in your car with you? Correct. He was the passenger. W why? How do you know? Because Jonathan? we can't both drive. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's sharp. He's fast. I like that. How do you know Jonathan? I know Jonathan because we're in the same football team. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, to bring your granddad to? <laughs> <laughs> so you were driving were you driving back from football? Driving to football. Driving to what football. You and washing you your car on the way <laughs> to football. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to the game, <laughs> young Jonathan. I really can't wait. But tell you young what, Jonathan. let's wash the car first. <laughs> Everybody says, oh, Lee's doing well. <laughs> uh, you drove into the car wash, and what happened? So, uh, there were three options. It was gold, silver or bronze. 
And obviously, being from the north of England, I was looking for a lesser metal than all three. <laughs> but it stopped at bronze. <laughs> so I went in and I said, um, can I have a car wash? And he gave me the token and I went back out and I was said... Was it a token? Sometimes it's a code these yeah. days. All right, then, what he said was, the token <laughs> is where the squirrel likes to hide. <laughs> <laughs> When I say code, I don't mean riddle. <laughs> I mean a series of numbers yes. that you put into well, a keypad. On this occasion, it wasn't. You put the token in the slot. Yes. You advance into the car wash. The weird things start going. Yes. Yeah, so the the big brush at the front that goes yeah. up, uh, over your over your bonnet that 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 came towards us. Yeah. And then the side ones came. It was the side ones that caused the main issue. They got to the door, stopped and just kept doing that, and we couldn't open the doors. And it did not stop for three hours. I know, it sounds unbelievable. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't you climb over into the back seat and get out one of the rear doors? Because it's a two-door car. <laughs> and I'm assuming this happened before the invention of the mobile phone. No. <laughs> no, that was not true. It, it was during the invention of the mobile during phone. During it? During the invention. <laughs> We did. We were so stuck, didn't know what to do for three hours, we decided to invent the mobile phone. <laughs> no, it was... Uh, his phone was in his sports bag, in, in the boot. Where was your phone? My phone was with me. Why didn't you use your phone? Because the battery had gone. <laughs> How did you eventually get out? I absolutely screamed and screamed, and this stranger passing by saw a big button on the thing that said, um, emergency stop. So he pressed the button and it stopped. And when it stopped, it reset itself back to how it should be. We opened the door and I went in. And he went, Ah, oh, you're back again. <laughs> I said, Yes. <laughs> Three I said, hours later. My car. So what, what's up? I said, I'll Tell you what's up. The doors are phenomenally clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... That's great. <laughs> All right. Shit. I'm going to go with the lady. I think. It could be Bob. I don't think it's Lee, but it could be Bob, but I think it's Lee. We need an answer. So, David's team. Is Jonathan Debbie's magic mate, Bob's brewing buddy, or Lee's car wash companion? I well, can't believe we spent... Lee's story is the kind of story I would have to invent to tell my husband if I'd been in a car with Jonathan for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jonathan looks like a hipster brewer to me. What do you think? I think it's Bob. I think they're mates and they've done some drawing together, yeah. Yeah, OK. You well, think I... Bob met him in a field while collecting mud. <laughs> <laughs> he said, come and have a look at my brewery. <laughs> yes, yes. And we're going to call our beer Kiss My Alderman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Kiss My yes, Alderman. It's, it's Kiss The Alderman. The Alderman. Kiss... I'm so sorry if it's true, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rob, you can immediately appreciate why Kiss the Alderman is much more marketable than Kiss my Alderman. <laughs> I certainly call mine the Alderman. I'm very popular with the Chinese community. Yeah. Oh, my God. I certainly call mine the Alderman. Very, very nice, David. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, David, what are you going to say? I think my team thinks it's Bob. Yeah, but let's okay, go. You're going to say Bob. Bob. OK, Jonathan, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Jonathan, and I brew beer with Bob. <laughs> that woman was very convincing. Yes, Jonathan is Bob's brewing buddy. Thank you very much. All right, that's the end of it. Uh, God, that's great. You know, um, I, I, I've i seen Wilty before, and I've seen them, like, tell stories, and then, like, they all have to decide if it's true or false. This is a different format. I'm not sure if I've seen one of these. I might have. But uh, uh, we had an American show called To Tell the Truth. Um, and uh, they would put three people up there, and they would all say they were the same person. So it would be like, you know, I'm Squirrel, and... You know, I'm I'm a roofer, and they'd be like, I'm a squirrel, and I'm a bartender. And they'd be like, I'm a squirrel, and you know, I I'm a mortician. You know, and then they would ask questions to all three people and try to figure out which one is the real person. It's uh, well, no, they all said they were the same thing. So it'd be like, I'm they call me squirrel, and I'm a YouTuber, and like three guys, me and two other dudes, and they would ask us all questions, and we had to uh, they had to try to guess which one of us actually was. But anyways, um, 
a very, very similar format to this, but instead they're just telling a story each, which is kind of cool. Uh, that was really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I enjoyed that a lot. So uh, think hard. Be kind. Appreciate you, man. I know I got a musical piece going to be doing from you uh, in tonight's recording session as well. So I hope you guys like that. That was really funny. I, I'm a big Bob Mortimer fan, too. I think Bob is very... Um, uh, he's like chill comedy. He's just very... He's very funny, but he's just... Um, he's, he's, he's a bright guy, and his comedy just kind of is very easy. And then it's just it it's it's very logical and it just hits you. Um, and and Lee Mack is is very similar as well. So uh, this is a good piece, very nice. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for the recommendation. And uh, folks, I appreciate all you folks coming over and watching. So uh, you guys take care of yourselves. All right, be good. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Scroll up.